Hi guys, Shop about once again with another Mint in Box and today we're taking a look at the Fortnite Baller set from Jazzwares who were really nice and sent me this over in the big unboxing video that I did a little while back. So now I'm getting to the big remote control vehicle and my first remote control vehicle of the Fortnite line. I've seen the ATK golf cart and really wanted to get it but I just didn't have the chance. I think there is a drift board out now but honestly I've always liked the baller ever since it was released in season 8 and I think only in season 8. I can't remember if it crossed over into 9. But I really like the baller as a vehicle. I had a lot of fun just spider manning around the map, being a human wrecking ball in the game. So I'm glad that this has seen a release in some form. And I'm just going to take a look at what you get inside. So you get the baller vehicle, the remote control, and one figure, which is hybrid stage two. Hybrid was a dragon ninja character introduced in season 8 as well who hatched out of a egg that was under Polar Peak at the time and was released after being nurtured in a volcano. Wow, a lot has happened in Fortnite. Good times. But yeah, just taking a look around the box, it's very simple, very bare bones. Just got a nice CG rendering of the character and the baller themselves. We've got the ATK. We've got a glider drone, which I haven't seen. We've got the battle bus, which I will be reviewing at some point as well. A transforming drift board, which has got two styles and I believe comes with Peely. And then the battle bus drone, which isn't quite as exciting as the regular battle bus for me. But yeah, it's a fairly solid box. You can see everything you get inside. So I think the best thing I can do now is to crack it open and take a better look at what you get. And after a lot of fiddling about with the special tags holding the baller into the packaging, we finally have the toys free of their box and and I have to say, I really like Hybrid. He's one of the better figures I've handled recently from the Fortnite range. Like there are little bits of his articulation that stick out as a bit weird to me, like his whole red side of the hand thing. He's got a little bit of paint and like misshapen joints, but it doesn't affect his wrist articulation too much. There's a little bit of paint mishap going on with his green coming out of the red but that's to be expected really trying to paint green onto red plastic is going to be a, li a little difficult but other than that you've got a very solid fortnite figure with apparently a thigh that will not stay on that's twice now uh, i think it's just a little loose because like this side, perfectly fine. This side, it uh, probably needs a little like, super glue just to coat the ball joint a little more. And then that will stay on no problem. But considering he's going to be sitting in the baller most of this review, I don't think that's a major problem. And at the very least, at least his feet haven't snapped off, which is always my major major problem with this line. So while one joint might be giving me a little bit of an issue, the rest of it is really, really nice. It's a very good looking figure. The baller is basically just a little platform that drives around and the rest is just cosmetic more than anything else. Just go pop it open like a Kinder Egg. Take our dude. we can peg his feet in that'll keep him secure come on there's tabards getting in the way a bit I think but apart from that we can just pop his hands onto the controls 
Or maybe slide them on, that might be easier. There we go. And then that one. And there we go. And I think any four inch Fortnite figure is going to fit in here just fine. I have to align the connecting tabs there and that's going to be fine. So in order to turn this on, I'm going to have to put the batteries in to the baller and the remote control itself. For the baller, you're going to need three AA batteries and for the remote, you will need two AAA batteries. So I'm going to do that now and then give it a little test run. So now that the batteries have been installed, we just turn it on underneath the baller and turn it on the remote and this should, yeah, there we go. It's very responsive, the, the turning works but he has to be moving in order to get him going so it's a case of doing like a J turn every time you want to turn him around what I'm finding is that he's kind of turning every time he goes backwards so I believe that is a problem with the alignment I think it's just a matter of Turning it like that, and hopefully, I guess not. We'll try again. We'll just set it forward for now, and okay. Okay, the wheels are a little misaligned. I think that's what the major problem is being at the minute. But apart from that, it's it's nippy. It's very responsive. It doesn't have quite the same amount of control as other RC cars I've handled. So I'm going to fiddle around with it a little more, and then I've basically set up an assault course and I'm going to try and run that. having a good play around with this thing going through like a little assault course and really really failing to get a real handle on how it maneuvers I have to say I'm actually pretty impressed with this I, it's a far cry from what I kind of want oh there goes his other leg and there goes his other leg Well, not to say a far cry, but obviously this isn't going to handle like it would in the game, especially for this price point. But I have to say that I did have a lot of fun playing with this and just bombing around in the halls outside of my apartment, just having a proper good play with it and really just enjoying it. And while it's a little hard to handle, and can doesn't have quite the control that I'd really want. Like the controls are a little stiff. Like they're literally there's no give in these. 
like there's one movement there's one click that's it it's just forward backward left right and I think the biggest problem that I faced while messing around is the turning circle in the front wheels like there's n there's very little turn in them so you have a very large turning circle and add to the fact that when it's just sitting but I don't know if you can see but when it's just standing still it can really be difficult to move the wheels side to side so you end up really having to kind of really like fight the controls to get it to go in the direction you want so there's a little a couple little things that could be improved I think like I know this is a fairly cheap toy and especially a fairly cheap remote control vehicle like it's not gonna be like super high quality kind of race it around at a professional level kind of remote control car but I would have liked a little more handling to really properly play with it but for what it does I think children would be really happy with it I think they'd have a lot of fun just bowling it into constructions made out of the building materials that the Fortnite figures have accompanying them I mean that's partly what I did even by accident just slamming into them and collapsing structures was pretty fun I will admit that so it it does have its place in the Fortnite line I believe so I think for the $29.99 that you're going to be paying at retail for this I think this is worth a go because this will be this would be a really fun Christmas present. If you've got hardwood floors or like a lino floor, it would run a lot better on that than it does on carpet. Even my kind of cord thin carpet is a little tough for it to navigate over at any decent speed or with any decent handling. So on hardwood floors or lino floors, you're going to get a better sense of how fast it can go and how it controls so bear that in mind but i think this would be a great christmas gift especially since we're coming up on that time and i do recommend it even if it's not exactly what i would want it is a lot of fun so you get a fairly decent remote control vehicle you get an exclusive great figure to play around with and you can't really grumble at the 30 quid price tag for that. As always, I've been Sharpo. This has been the Fortnite Baller Remote Control Vehicle from Jazzwares. And I'll catch you guys next time for another Mint in Box.